Good day guys, my name is Huey Lu. I'm a Senior Services Architect based out of the Melbourne CA office. And today we're going to talk about Identity Miner and Site Miner concepts. So, we know that there are two various components. We have IM and we have Site. Why do we want to integrate it? There are several reasons. On the Identity Miner side, we're going to leverage Site Miner for advanced authentication scheme. So Identity Miner by itself only supports username and password. It doesn't have single signer, it doesn't have anything. So by integrating with Site Miner, we're able to change the authentication scheme to be certificate based, to be token based, so on, and to have single signer with other applications. Typically that's done via a web server. So this web server would have an agent, a site monitor agent on it, doing the protection. So users would log in via site monitor. The agent would then go talk to the policy server for the authentication authorization request. Once that's all confirmed, Web server will then proxy on the request to Identity Miner. Identity Miner will just accept Site Miner's token and present the user interface based on the user's roles. So that's how Site Miner can help Identity Miner. What about the other way around? Well, in Site Miner, you can configure various policies for different applications. One of the things you can do is configure those policies based on access roles in Identity Miner. So Identity Miner can supply Site Miner with various access roles policies. So in Site Miner, we can then use those access roles to protect application A. So in Site Miner, you can say, Users are only allowed into application A if they have access role A. Those access roles, access role A, are defined and managed in IM. IM has a much nicer interface, it's more dynamic, it's easier to manage um, users who are part of that access role rather than site. So that's how uh, the two components help. Thank you for watching this video today. For more information, please visit the CO Learning site.